so we will be taking off concrete work for the bin uh, this is a house it is rectangular in shape then at the corners here we have columns at the corners we have columns though you cannot be able to see them then uh, the beams are going round the house it's like a lintel the way it goes round the house then you're told to take off for the concrete in the beam or to measure it uh, you're given the cross section of the beam AA and BB the beam is a uh, thickness 200 but the depth is 350 so how do we measure the concrete in the beams uh, as you can see uh, in the length the length starts from end here to end here then uh, this one again it's the length if we want to measure the width we will not start from here again because the concrete that is in the length has already been accounted for here and here so the concrete that you can only measure in the wind is from here down up to here and from here up to here. All right. So uh, now we, sh we want to measure the concrete in the beams. So uh, how, how do we measure the volume? Uh, the concrete in the beams is measured in volume. How do we calculate the length on the length side and the, uh, the volume on the wind side? Uh, using this diagram, we shall start from here to here, which is 4500. You see the 4500, we are given it's from center to center. But now, because we will not be using the center line, we will have to calculate from end here to end here. If the uh, thickness of the column is 200, if up to here, it's 200. Mm -hmm. If up to here it's 200, uh, from here to here it's 100, from here to here is 100. So uh, to get the total length from here to here, it shall be 4500 plus 100 plus 100, alright? So it shall be 4500 plus 200, which is 4700. What about the length for the width? We shall take center to center is 4000. So from here to here, it shall be 4,000, deduct 100 to get outside here, to deduct 100. So it shall be 4,000, deduct 200. We get 3,800. So when we come to uh, feeding them in the takeoff sheet, uh, we shall say concrete work. The mass concrete uh, for section 1AB and 2AB, the length of the beam, on the length side is 4.5 center to center. The column size is 200 by 200. The thickness of the beam, the, the thickness of the concrete eh, is 350 millimeters. The breadth of the beam is 200 millimeters. So the length of the beam, the total length, the way we have calculated it, it is 4.5, uh -huh, it was center to center, plus a half of 200, uh -huh, a half, you see a half why are we saying a half because it's at the center so get the aha uh -huh. we are saying a half because it's from here to here here to here this is a half a half times two because it's this side and this side then times 200 so it shall be a half two times times 200 millimeters, it's 0 0.2. So the total length of the beam is 4.7. So when we come to calculating the volume of the uh, concrete in the beam, shall be two beams, because it is one on the length, another on the length here. Uh -huh. This this one is one beam on the length side, the other beam on the length side. Okay, so it shall be times two. Okay, so it, we have two beams, which measures 4.7, 0 0.350 and 0 0.2 so the total volume is this one then we go to uh, the mass concrete in the the other one section a 1 2 and b 1 2 so why do we say uh, the section a 1 2 and b 1 2 1 a b and 2 a b this is because uh, if you look at the section that we have here, at the plan, you see this one is section A. Section A can be on 
a b then we also have another section here a which is on a b on the other side so this first section we shall call it section one for a b here it shall be section two for a b when we come to the wind side uh, when we have a section here this one will be section one for one two so to avoid that section one for one two we can say section a for one b the other one because it's the second one we can say section b for one two all right so uh, the a b is on the length side the one two is for the wind side so uh, how do we calculate the volume of concrete on the wind side the length of the beam is four meters the column size is 200 by 200 the thickness of the beam is 350 millimeters breadth of the beam is 200 so what is the length of the beam that we shall use we shall take four meters we shall deduct a half of times two a half two sides of the wind and the wind uh that we are taking talking about is 200 yes as we talked about here uh if you look at the wind side uh we are we have taken from here to here it's four thousand so to add uh, to deduct because we will need from here to here we shall take we shall deduct a half of 200 times 2 that's why we are saying a half times 2 times 200 all right so we get the total length of the beam that we shall consider is 3.8 so what is the volume of the concrete in the two beams it's two beams whose length is 3.8 the thickness of the concrete is 0 0.35 and the width of the beams is 0 0.2 so the total volume of that concrete in the beams is 0 0.532. If we add the two volumes of concrete, we shall get 1.19 meter cubic. So how do we enter that into a bill of quantity? Uh, showing the concrete work. We shall come to the column showing the bill of quantities. Uh, where beams are, we always have the item number, the description, the quantity, the rate, the unit, the rate, then the, the total amount. So we shall write concrete work, mass concrete of for beam mixed grade to be determined because we are not told in the in the diagram yet the structural engineer should be should have given us to be determined. The vol total volume is 1.9 1.19 meter cubed. So we shall come and do the rate per meter cubed here, then we shall get the total amount for for the concrete in the beams, all right.